<laughs> oh, I love it when we start our show like that. What's <laughs> well, up? <laughs> it's always something with Craig. Hello, everyone. I am Mia Voss. I'm here with my co-host, Christine DeGrav, and welcome to 15 Minutes with Christine and Mia. Hello, darling. Hi, Mia. How Look, I've got, my little, I've got my little gloves on today. It's very cold here in New Jersey. So. I told her she should just be standing around like a, a garbage can with a fire and, just kind of like, <laughs> and, keep, and keep you warm. Hey, we want to welcome our lovely for January co-host, Craig Fifield, brother. Hey, hey Craig. Thank you for having me. Yes. When's and the last time you were called lovely, Craig? <laughs> that oh, might have been the first time, huh? <laughs> yeah, back in when I was uh, under 10, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Even then you felt weird. Yeah, <laughs> enjoy it. Hey, let's uh, let's segue and give a big shout out to our continuing sponsors who show us the big love every week. We've got CT Social, right? Yay! Yay. Tell us, uh, tell us about them real quick, Christine. Um, they're a digital marketing agency um, out of Orlando, and um, they are owned by um, Greg Chuhio. Uh, Greg, Ch yeah, I can never say his last name. And that's why I got in there. And <laughs> Carolyn Capern, and uh, they were both of. Uh, well, we were lucky to have both of them as guests on our show. We were. Um, they are, you know, vlogging like crazy. Um, if you want to learn about Google+, Plus, definitely follow them. Lots of great tips. Um, and, you know, definitely check them out. We appreciate them. And Thank our you. other sponsor is Holiday Inn, D.C. Central White House. Yay! And, uh... If you're planning a trip to Washington, D.C. this uh, spring, summer, fall, or, or now, um, be sure to go to ndc.com. That's in with two N's and uh, book a room. Yay. And they, uh, we've got their uh, Google links as well for their pages. So go show them yes. some love. Be awesome. And uh, they, they all post great things. And actually, Carolyn did a really great blog post and a, a post about uh, Hangouts on Air that was really, really good. Kind of stole my yeah. thunder because I was going to write something for you, Christine. Well, so. you still are, but, you know. I still am, but I, I looked at <laughs> it and I was like, Let's oh, talk about our, really new, well our new overlays. What do you think of these, Craig? I noticed they're very sparkly. I'm jealous. Very sparkly. <laughs> Super shiny. Very sparkly. I will say mine are not. Well, actually, it looks pretty good right now, Christine. It looks pretty good. Yep. It looks pretty it good. Is. Just yeah. a, little, a little bandwidth problem, but uh, we're you're working on it. Mom's getting a new computer soon, folks, so just hang tight. And yeah. we're we're changing our um, hashtag. We want it to be hashtag 15 minutes on air. So that's what we're going to start using instead of 15 minutes. And cool. we are also, I didn't do it this time, but we can, uh, next time we can pull it up with the comments, which, speaking you know, of which, I am going to segue into comments. This one's really cool, you guys. This is actually from a call that our guest, Michael Bennett, who's coming on shortly, not to let the cat out of the bag, uh, Ground Scouts, uh, he's been talking to, looking forward to the event. Michael Bennett was kind enough to call me to answer questions about his Google Plus help and drive decks. Uh, we'll come by and watch us their first hang on an air. Well, we're glad we could, you know, Break you in gently. Yeah, right? yeah. Yay. <laughs> and then, uh, hi, Charlotte. Frosty is, is li loving it here in New England. Hi, Christine and Mia. Hey, Craig. What's hey, going on Charlotte. with you? Hey, Charlotte. Uh, Craig, is it is it just awful where you are? Uh, I think it's like 12 degrees today. Mm. It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> You're very stoic about this. I love it. It was a lot colder yesterday. I think. And did you get a lot of snow? And we didn't. We didn't get the snow that we were supposed to get. So. That's a good oh, thing. okay. You got you got a little jipped on it. Let's see who else we've got. We have hi, Lainey. She's saying hi to Mark Seidel, who's also in here. Kirk Miller, another brother from Denver. It is warm here in Denver, by the way. It's about fifty-five. So I am. Uh, and uh, our brother Shannon says you look nice and toasty, Christine. <laughs> oh no, it's not warm here. Let me tell you, it's pretty cold. I've got two space heaters, but it, and I've got a uh, two sweatshirts and my gloves. I would have worn my hat, but. Uh, Craig, actually, Craig saw me in my hat <laughs> yesterday. He was laughing at me. I thought she just stole something, actually. Oh, I was, yeah, because I have like a little knit cap, you know. I look very, I, I guess I look gangsta or yeah, just yeah. look silly. I'm not sure which. That was good. Good gangsta. <laughs> I'm pretty soon it's going to be like a Jason hockey mask for the whole the whole <laughs> mask with just the nose cut out and the eyeballs, too. So, yeah, I wish you would. Next time, Craig, you got to start screenshotting that type of stuff. Uh, that's a good point. I forget about yeah, that. Yeah, I have a good screenshot of you, Maya, that I need to share soon. 
That's the face. I hopefully it's going to be followed immediately by that kind of face. I think that is, we, as you all know, a lot of times we do a ton of hangouts, and we all there's always an apology right beforehand. I'm like, I'm sorry for how bad I look. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry for you for having to see how bad I look. All right, yeah. you guys, are are you ready? Oh, and let's give a shout out. Lainey's got uh, again our new hashtag is 15 minutes on air. Thank uh, you, Lainey. Yes, darling. <laughs> thank you for that. Oh, it's today the end and why that we don't have uh, Lynn Abate Johnson. Holla! I did break her in gently. Oh, I'm going to. I'm I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to take some credit for that one. And now she is, as we call, what is she? She's at H O A what? Hooker. Oh. Hooker, because girlfriend. Know, what did you say, Craig? <laughs> <laughs> Chef, Dennis, Chef Dennis taught me that word. He calls them whores. H-O-A-S. <laughs> Ooh, this one is for you, Craig. Not bad, baby Bubba Craig Fifield. Brr. It's not. It's no longer the Craig. The Craig. Now, where did this baby Bubba come from? Well, I'm, uh, I'm thinking that last week when I sang My Rapper's Delight, there is Baby Bubba is a line in it. That's all I can think, but yeah. I'll have to see if she can uh Yeah, that's where it came from. I actually reshared uh, Rapper's Delight after that. And, what? Um, How did I miss this? Please tell me. I don't know. I mentioned you. I mentioned you because I kept singing it for like three days, so I shared it. Ooh, I, I was shamed by a mention, and I, I didn't catch that. <laughs> you were shamed. That's a classic. <laughs> I need to go. Um, Please reshare it. I know, my bad. Yeah, I apologize in advance. I didn't see that. But that is what it came from, right? Yeah, right. She started calling me Baby Bubba after that. And well, let's it... talk about hashtags. Our guest was one of the ones who gave you a hashtag, right? <laughs> or coined your like a boss, like a boss. <laughs> it was, and how I never picked up on that beforehand, I'll never know. I'm going to plead <laughs> blonde because mm. uh, uh, Craig or Michael had been on my show uh, a couple months ago, and that's when I really kind of got fascinated not only with his photography but the other things that he's doing. He's wearing a lot of uh, different hats, and he did come up with hashtag like a boss. It is stuck. I'm eternally grateful to him for that. So with that, I'm going to unveil him. Unmute yourself. I feel like I should just bring pull back a real big curtain. Welcome to the show, Michael. Then, are you done yet? Let's see. Show and broadcast. There he is. is. Hey. Did I miss all the fun? <laughs> we, we are talking a lot of crap about you, brother. So now here you are. Hey. Hey. <laughs> All right, there. <laughs> it is your time to shine. Jump in and tell us about this women-owned business that is your family business and your photography and all that good stuff. Go. So my uh, day job, which uh, the amount of time I spend on Google+, Plus, uh, seems like it could be an afterthought, but it actually uh, takes up a lot of my day, quite fitting. So it's a woman-owned small business that my parents started in '84. Um, and we got our woman owned small business certification in 2012. Um, and last year we became aerospace certified, which is AS9120 and uh, ISO 9001 certified. So those are a couple things that basically mean what we say we're going to do, we are going to do. And that that perception of quality has uh, tr has trans transferred into everything else I do on a daily basis. And that attention to detail is really um, what has, has gotten me where I am now. Um, starting with initially, uh, which was a Google Plus chat on Twitter, which uh, Jesse Wadillo was doing at that time. Uh, this is back March of last year. So about 10 months ago, um, I stumbled on him, Stefan, um, who Charlotte just did a, a hangout with this earlier today, um, and, uh, and Mike Alton, um, and a bunch of really great guys who um, helped me because these are all serious content producers. These are all the people that we look to to guide us, to help us, to make our transition onto this platform a little easier because we all know there's lots of shiny, fun things here, but a lot of people can't, can't really, you know, don't really know what to do. Um, I was watching a hangout with uh, Martin Shervington and Chris Brogan, and Chris Brogan equated um, Google Plus uh, in, in, a, in, a, in an interesting way, he said that it's you know, it's like a kid going to school, and at their desk, you know, Facebook has um, you know some glue and a paper and a pen. Well, you know what to do with the pen and the paper, and, and you know that that's easy. You know, you know what to do with the glue. You can glue a picture down. You got that. Um, well, Google Plus changed that whole paradigm. 
Um, you know, it's not just post an update and move on. It's Hangouts. It's communities. It's being you know getting ranked in search from your Google Plus posts. Um, it's it's every it's business pages. It's it's personal pages. Um, and there's so many unique you know there's the Drive Google Drive integration. Um, so there's so many unique things that it's hard for people to understand exactly what and where and how they should start. Um, so you know with Michelin Metals, there's zero aerospace metal industry uh, presence on this platform. Uh, and as well as across the web and across uh, social media in particular. So when I found out that Google Plus ranks posts in search, um, my, my, whole ga- my whole game was to try to be able to achieve that. Um, but they don't tell you that it takes, it, it takes engagement to get ranked um, on some level. So you can't just have a post go out there and, oh, there it is on the first page of Google. It does not work like that. Um, not every one of my posts is indexed, let alone ranked. Um, but if you have a, an engaging profile, um, you have a much better chance of doing that. So what I did is I, I worked the reverse side. And, you know, Stefan and I and uh, Michael and Jesse kind of coined it the Michelin approach, where nobody knows Michelin medals. They don't know Michelin medals then. They really don't know Michelin medals now, but they do know Michael Bennett. And... They want to. They want to work with people. People want to work with people. People buy from people. People don't buy from companies. They buy from brands. They buy from established brands. They buy from people, in particular, that they know. People that have made an emotional connection with them. So, the only way you can do that is by engaging as your as your person, as yourself. Um, so I've taken the approach to develop my personal profile first and foremost. By doing that, um, now when people see Michelin medals, they're like, oh. I know that guy. That's Michael Bennett. Um, so I've taken the approach to, um, you know, share a few things here and there from my Michelin page that are important. You know, we're moving in two weeks, which is awesome. Uh, we got certified to those two certifications. Um, you know, I don't share everything because it's not just a funnel that comes from Michelin right out of my personal page because that's not right. Um, but I've started to see more of my posts pop up in search. And, you know, again, I haven't been able to translate that in any dollars since yet, but... Um, I've started, you know, when I started doing those drive decks, um, you know, which was a lot of, um, a lot of that came from curation and, and my tendency to curate data and, and compile information into uh, easier buckets or easier uh, partitions to manage. So, um, you know, it was Dennis LaBelle who kind of really pushed me um, into that, into that uh, position. So I, I jumped in, I fell in love with it, I started contacting a lot of the influencers on this platform to um, see if I could if I could repurpose their content for a Google Drive for a Google Drive presentation. From there, go ahead. Michael, can you I don't think a lot of people know what Google Drive is. Can you just okay. briefly tell us what that is? Yeah, Google Drive is is one of the many products that Google offers. Um, if you look in your uh, now it's that uh, menu box with the dots in it. Um, mm-hmm. you'll, you'll see Gmail, you'll see YouTube, you'll see uh, Google Drive. And Google Drive is their equivalent of, let's just call it Microsoft Office. Um, they have, an, they have a, a spreadsheet tool. They have a Word documentation tool. Um, they have a presentation tool. And um, these, these tools are, are fantastic. You can edit them together with people. You can create spreadsheets where many people can be in there. You can actually chat from within these documents. You can monitor save, you can monitor changes made. Yeah, I love um, it. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, you can go so far as to actually integrate forms into a Google Plus post. So you could start and do polls potentially, you can get customer feedback all straight from Google Plus if you know how to code the, you know, the APIs behind it, which I don't. So that's why you haven't seen any awesome forms coming out of me. But uh, the, the presentation aspect of Drive is like a Microsoft PowerPoint. And mm-hmm. And, it, it, and, it, and it's different and better in the respects that it can be viewed across any device. You can convert the files to PowerPoint. You can make PDFs. Um, and it's it, 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 what, I, what I was able to do is I was able to take people's posts and content, and you can embed lot. You can embed YouTube videos. You can make sure It was sure awesome, they're... by the way. I, that was one of the first times I noticed you. I was like, who's this guy? And so that's a deck. When you, take, right. when you curate a bunch of different things and mm-hmm. put them all together, yeah. um, that that's considered a deck. Yeah, it's like a slide deck. You know, it's like yeah. you know when when um, even in the early two thousands when I would go on sales calls in my old company, we would make these you know these 
nice promotional decks that are, you know, glossy paper and cardstock and all pretty, and, you know, each one costs $25 that a customer looks at while you're in the meeting with them and then throws it in the garbage as soon as you leave, and they don't do anything. They're not dynamic. They sit there, and after a year, after a day, a month, a week, you know, a year, they're stagnant. They can't do anything. The beautiful thing about these drive decks is that I could take all that information, put it in there, and you could watch a video right from the drive deck itself. You can click on a link and go to the web page right from itself. I can change it so that if, for instance, Martin Shervington comes out with a brand new series of videos and his old deck has his old stuff and he wants his new stuff in there, all I gotta do is go replace a few URLs and then boom, that thing is up to date, back to evergreen status, and now it can be shared back across the world and people can can garner a lot of value from that. Um, oh, preach it! No, so. did you did you set out to be you know like you're kind of known as I mean when people talk about Google Drive nowadays, I think they talk, they know Michael Bennett. You know, hey. it's kind of like you're going really hand in hand. Yeah, um, he's, he's the Drive Deck Daddy, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did did you kind of like plan it that way, or did that just you know? Well, again. Um, when I started doing this, I realized that this is a way to um, consolidate content. It's a way to take old content that is still very relevant and repurpose it. It's like when a brand decides to create a new logo or new labels for their product. It's the same stuff, but it's new and cool and shiny, and people are like, oh, man, that's awesome. Even though it was still always awesome, now it's new again. and. Mm -hmm. For the producers of this content, it's really valuable for most of them because their content gets a breath of fresh air. It gets a new life breathed into it. And for instance, um, some of these drive decks I would make would, would get multiple hundreds of shares. And and how could a, a, a resource filled with 30 of Mark Traphagen's links not be valuable? I mean, it's just impossible. And especially to the user or to the producer, all those links are link backs right to his site. Now, that has no SEO value because Google Drive is produced in, in frames. So the, it's not like you're coding in um, real true links that pass SEO link juice and stuff like that. It's just, it's, it's just a way to, in essence, drive traffic. So if traffic is important to you and you care about people hitting your site and reading your content, um, then that will work for you, and it's and again, it's a way to take an article from six months ago and slap a new face on it and get more get more engagement from that article. So, you know, to your question, did I envision this happening? Not at all. Um, I had a I have an affinity for for curating. Uh, when I was on Twitter actively before I came over here, I was posting you know twelve articles a day. And every morning I'd wake up and from like 5.30 to 6.30 I'd get my tweet scheduled. I'd go one an hour and it would be from, you know, things that just interested me. Um, you know, mostly SEO and blogging and social media and stuff like that. But I get no engagement. Um, and I was doing it to gain 25 or 30 followers a day. And it, ne it never clicked for me. So I came over here, landed where I landed, got got pushed and molded and, and, and taught and... Um, and, and I ended up creating these decks, and they really took off. Um, and they're, they're really great. So, you know, I'm trying to start, you know, this drivedecks.com now, which will enable people to potentially utilize me for those services. Because last year I spent, I gave all my time away for free, which is fine right. because, you know what, um, who was I? I? And who am I? You know, like, no one really. I'm not... You know, I'm not one of these major content producers. I always dreamt about how on earth do these guys do it? How mm -hmm. do they write so much content? Like Michael, I'm the guy cranks out content like a machine. She's and written four wrote, blocks since she started. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. In, in the 13 minutes I've been on, he's actually posted four new blog posts. And, <laughs> and they're all awesome. Love um, you, Mike. <laughs> you know we love you, brother. You know, so for me, you know, I love what I do. I'm very passionate about what I do with Michelin Metals. I'm trying to bring this company up into the 21st century. I'm trying to establish our brand for the future. And by, by, by doing it the reverse way and establishing myself as a brand, I'm able to capitalize on my own personal profile and how I can share through that uh, to get Michelin a little more exposure. But then again, there is no one on Google Plus who will probably buy metal from me. Um, 
So it's more for the web in general, and it's more right. for the future. Because if personalized search ever does take hold of my industry, and my industry does get on search, they will have nothing for <laughs> me to see. And you know what? Right. I'm not going to be upset with that. You know, if you look up AS9120 metal supplier right now, it's there's 10 search results, and I'm seven of them. So you know what? Yeah. I'll I'll take that, and, and, and maybe in a few years, if the government ever says, in order for a person to buy aerospace metal, you have to go with an AS9120 supplier, well, hmm? Right. <laughs> I'm going to jump in real okay. quick. Um, Eleni Sullivan agrees on this, too. Love that you preach to develop personal page first and foremost. Absolutely. A couple yeah, other definitely. ones. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Then I'm gonna, we're going to segue out real quick. Craftstar. Hi, Craftstar. Hi, everybody. Love working with Google Drive. Lifesaver. Lucetta knows. Good to know there's a, dri a, a Drive Deck Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> now, but Michael, um, your personal profile, you, you share a lot of photography. You want to tell yeah. us a little bit about that? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. I've um, I've always I've always taken pictures. I used to uh, go to overnight camp, and I was there for six years. The first three years, we had to build up to the last three years, which were spent in uh, Colorado, Montana, Wyoming, Idaho, uh, Washington State. Then I went up into Banff and Jasper, uh, Canada. I did a lot of hiking, canoeing, backpacking, um, kayaking, all that stuff. And so I always had a camera with me. And you know, I was a kid with a little point and shoot camera when I was 13 years old with 20 rolls of film in my backpack, um, which is equivalent now to like 600 pictures, which one I, one half right. of the memory card can hold. Um, right. And so I always took pictures. When I was 16, I got an SLR camera, uh, one of those Canon little Rebels. Mm -hmm. And I got into high school. I took one photography class my senior year. Uh, in college, I upgraded to a Canon A2E, which is one of the first cameras with eye tracking sensors. Um, and shot that. Then I left college, got into slide film, which was very slow film, but very vibrantly colored. And in 2007, I went digital. Um, and since then, I've been shooting, and, but I haven't been actively shooting. Um, so through Google+, Plus, through the feedback I've gotten, um, I've really fallen back into my photography because I didn't want to be just the drive guy for, for that while. And now, since I've not shared as many drives and I'm spending an inordinate amount of time on my photography. This is all the time I'm spending on my photography now versus a couple months ago is spending it on drives because I couldn't just be another Google Plus photographer. There are so many and there are many more that are way better than me. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I've got a good eye, um, but I'm not a technical photographer. I do what I do to make it look good. And, um, you know, I really enjoy it. I got a couple uh, new cameras this summer, and um, I just started shooting HDR photography in October and set up two websites. You know, Craig has been instrumental in helping me. You know, I think he told me that uh, the first website I set up, he's like, yeah, but it's not your domain. And I'm like, oh, well, an address ending in artistwebsite.com, you're right. That's not my domain. So <laughs> I sent 20,000 plus ones there and um, and finally just said, you know what, i got to go to another website like SmugMug, which enables me to use my own domain. So I bought michaelbennettphotos.com, put it on SmugMug, and, you know, trying to balance all this stuff is not easy. i got two kids under three and a half at home, a nine-month-old, and it's it's busy. It's busy for me. So um, You're like that 50s housewife bringing home the bacon, frying it up in a pan. i got the two kids. <laughs> I'm taking a picture. you got the whole thing going on. I'm going to jump in because I the one thing I know you're saying, there are a ton of photographers on Google, but you picked a niche, and you're nailing it, and you are yeah. representing your city. Yeah. Well, thank and you. Doing, and Michael, and for those so that don't well. know, what, mm -hmm. what, for those that don't know, what, what exactly is HDR photography? Uh, HDR photography is called high dynamic range, which takes, um, you take at least a minimum of three frames. What that does is that you shoot a normal exposure, you shoot an exposure that's stopped up, potentially two stops overexposed, and then you take that same exposure and you underexpose it by two stops. So in essence, you have a range of the same frame. You go from, from two stops underexposed all the way to two stops overexposed, and what you do is you use some software, whether you do your tone mapping or um, you know, fusing in Photoshop, or whether you use more of an out-of-the-box software like Nick, um, HDRFX, that's Google's product, or Photomatrix. Um, so, you know, when I sat down with uh, Chef Dennis and Greg Trujillo um, and Bruce Marco down in Florida when I was there, um, you know, I explained to them my whole workflow. And we only have six minutes left, so I don't have time to explain it, but let's just say it is tedious. Um, 
and a lot of storage happens. You know, you have a lot. You have huge files. So you take three files and you blend them together because you get you get the uh, really extreme lights, you get the really extreme darks, and then you get the middle ground from the from the normal exposure. And it takes the best aspects of each frame and compiles them into one frame. And that's why you have such an immense range of colors, mm -hmm. darks, and lights in these in these photographs. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, and you know it's 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 an interesting thing because I try to allow people to see through my eyes. Mm -hmm. I try to give people the perception of what is it actually like to be standing on a block of ice staring at a frozen lake. I mean that <laughs> that is it is cold, but it is beautiful. And it is. You, and you, it's hard. Yeah. It's hard to perceive because you have these images in your mind of what a sunset or a sunrise looks like. To get mm -hmm. that captured on a camera is not easy. True. People want right. that right. element of of fantasy. They want that imagination. They want to say, you know what, this looks just, just real, just just good enough to be real, but it might even be not real. I mean, where is this coming from? How does this happen? So, it's that. It's that imagination that kind of takes over and really allows yeah. that, that creativity to come out. Well, I'm going to do this you, real quick because, uh, Craig, you, you ask him a question, then you set him up for this comment. Which is Michael <laughs> Bennett is here right now. So he kind of got set up for that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was it was well spent. What were you guys going to say? And then we, we are wrapping up. Oh, and I was just going to say a, go ahead. that he, he even made a dump truck. Look really fancy. <laughs> that's when that's when he caught my attention. <laughs> and I also have to shout out. We came. We did come up with a hashtag from our show, Craig and our uh, Michael, when we were talking. Hashtag sexy metals. <laughs> hey, you know, is, is anybody going to think uh, anybody gonna, thinks that's sexy at all? So, <laughs> and there are a ton of really great comments uh, and questions. And yes, we have to give your buddy Wade a quick shout out. Whatever, everybody, come and support my bud Michael Bennett. Love hey, Wade. Wade. And then a lot of questions that are in here that are pretty technical. So yeah, we would love for you to uh, to, to I'll, jump I'll in and run that afterwards after after we're done with the show. Christine, do you have any uh, more questions for uh, Michael? I, I, we do. We just love your photography, so I know you've nerded out on it too, Christine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, and for those that that don't have all those fa that fancy equipment, um, what Google is doing now, the auto magic. I mean, that kind of gives a little bit of the same effect. Mm -hmm. So you can, so you, can um, you can download Snapseed onto your phone. Um, Snapseed is the photo editing tool that they integrated uh, on their last update, um, but they don't have the HDR filter on the desktop version of Snapseed or within Google Plus's photo editing tools. So you have to download the Snapseed app on your phone. You you put your picture in there and just hit the HDR um, filter, and then it gives you all the different levels that you can change, and it takes it takes it, it's a it's a theory of what the phone thinks an HDR image would look like if it had all those exposures. So right. okay. um, it's cool, Fun. certainly cool. And I love it that you're encouraging people to do that as well. Like that's your vision, that's what you're loving to do, and then you're getting everybody else up there to say, "Hey, uh, take them and show them." I will tell you, one of my favorites that you took was the one with the stacked rocks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, there's yeah. just something about that that was so. I, I meditate to that sometimes. I'm gonna be honest. So, yeah, thanks yeah. for that. Thanks Hopefully for that little on. mantra thing on that too. So we really appreciate it, um, guys. We're gonna wrap up here shortly. But Michael, I'd love to know what your call to action is. Where we can find all these. I know your about page is very well fleshed out. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. You got all your good stuff there. Yep, yep. Um, you know, I, I got michaelbennettphotos.com. I just uh, did drivedex.com. Um, I do something with John Dietrich, gpluggeek.com, which is just, you know, three-minute videos on uh, on Google Plus, little tips and tricks and stuff like that. But, uh -huh. you know, the bottom line is is just, you know, look up Michael Bennett Google Plus. You'll find me. Um, and I'm here to help. I figure if I can put all this good energy out in there, at some point it might come back to me. And if not, I'm still living right. So, you know, you that's, that's what it's about. You're living like a Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> Christine, you want to wrap it up for us, honey? Um, yeah. Well, Craig, do you have a call to action before I go? Sure. Uh, I have two today. Um, oh, okay. um, working with CircleScope, the best way to manage your circles on Google+, Plus. so check us out over there. Um, and in addition to that, if you have any questions about WordPress SEO, I'll be on with Craig Chamberlain at uh, 10, 10 p.m. EST tonight. Awesome. So That's some serious nerd now, dude. That's some fun nerding out. Yeah, it should be cool. <laughs>
I want to thank again our sponsors, CT Social and Holiday Inn DC, Washington DC. Um, be sure to circle them. We appreciate them very much. My call, um, check me out on my website, ChristineDeGraff.com. Also, Circloscope.com. Um, Craig and I, or Craig, now I'm getting all mixed up. Craig and I are now co-founders along with Esham, and uh, we will have a new product coming out soon. And um, this Friday. This Friday, the online money show is going to be with David Oldenburg. Um, our guest is Rebecca Radish, and we're going to talk about branding. It should be a good show. And that is at 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, so I'll be watching that because my show is right before, and I'm going to loop right into you on that one. I love me some Rebecca Radish. Uh, my call to action is themeaconnect.com. Thank you, Christine, again for my shiny, shiny new lower third. I loves it. Might be over here. And then my show is on Fridays at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. This week I'm calling it the Talk with a Cool Accent show because I have three <laughs> guests that are from all over the country. I've got Eva Ignatovich from Belgrade, Dave Moore from England, Anna Hilarski, Annabelle Hilarski out of Panama, and then Mike Alton who will be writing about six blogs during the show. <laughs> so, In and Michael out. <laughs> and, yeah, and a St. Louis accent. <laughs> but thanks again for watching. And, Michael, thanks for joining us. We really yes, appreciate you coming you. on today. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Bye, everyone. Oh, who's our guest next week? Oh, boy. Mm. Mark Traffigan. Mark, is that how, are we saying it right? I'm not Traf sure. Traffigan? <laughs> I don't know. Everyone knows who he is. Everybody knows. <laughs> Mark T. Mark T. <laughs> Yes, he's coming on our show next week, so it'll be 15 minutes. I don't know if he's going to do any kind of singing and mandolin playing. I know he will for my show on February 14th. But yes, we are going to warm uh, warm up. Maybe, Michael's getting maybe we can get him to dance. Maybe dance, he can dance. 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 <laughs> Twerk. Twerking. <laughs> Twerking. <laughs> That'll be perfect. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Oh. On that note, <laughs> thanks for joining us, everyone. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.